Listen to what an expert is saying. This is not just daydreaming. It has been proved by experience. In New York City, for example, they commenced injecting children with the harmless toxide in 1929. In that year, there were 8,500 cases of diphtheria in the city and 406 deaths. Ten years later, there were only 400 cases of diphtheria with 10 deaths. In Canada, there have been even better results. Figures for the city of Hamilton are shown here. You will note the dramatic improvement. And there has been no death from diphtheria since 1930 and no case since 1933. What has been done in other countries, we are now doing here in Britain. We are setting about it in this way. We have laboratories preparing the harmless toxoid. In air-conditioned rooms, small glass tubes are filled with the required amount of toxoid. The glass tubes are then sealed in the flame of a Bunsen burner and stacked ready for packing. From these laboratories, free supplies of toxoid are available to all local health authorities. Doctors encourage parents to bring their children along to their surgeries for injection. In towns, medical officers of health arrange with schools, clinics and hospitals for the children to be collected together to have injections of toxoid. This is called immunization. In country districts, mobile clinics visit schools and other places. Two injections of the harmless toxoid are usually given. When the toxoid is injected, it gets into the blood, which at once begins to produce antitoxin. The first injection is a small one to start the blood producing antitoxin and a larger injection three or four weeks later makes sure that it continues. After two injections, the habit of producing antitoxin is formed and the patient is immune. Thus, when diphtheria germs attack a person who has had two injections, the germs find that the body has been too quick for them. But none of these discoveries are any use if mothers and fathers do not help. Their permission must be given before their children can be immunized against diphtheria. And if every child is made safe, then there'll be no more diphtheria in the country. If you talk to your doctor, he'll tell you how urgent it is. He'll tell you that if you permit your children to be immunized, you can fight diphtheria before they catch it. He'll tell you that diphtheria may break out at any time because children have not been immunized. Today, many people are separated from their children. If you receive a request for your child to be immunized, write your consent at once. If you still have doubts, you too should consult your doctor on the matter. Children run the greatest risk of catching diphtheria while they are at school, but they can catch it even before going to school. If they do, it's more than ever likely to be fatal. To be absolutely sure, you should have your child immunized when it's one year old. In this way, we can stamp diphtheria out. By prompt action of the mothers and fathers of Britain, it will be possible for our children to grow up in a world where they will run no risk of death from diphtheria. <laughs>